Have you ever wondered what is it that you need to use to make a serum? Today I'm going to help you um, use hydroxyethyl cellulose. This we call HEC or HEC. Hello, I'm back. Now, how do we thicken hydroxyethyl cellulose, which is HEC or HEC? Hello, let me help you to understand what is it that you can do when you want to thicken uh, hydroxyethyl cellulose, which from now on, I'm going to refer to it as HEC. There are two methods that I use, and today I'm going to show you both the two methods. Remember, we are not making a product that you need to apply on your face, but I'm showing you how you need to use HEC. So I've got two beakers here, and I'm going to use two different methods to show you in terms of what is it that you need to do to thicken your HEC. So the first method is what I normally use every day in our laboratory. We're going to use HEC, as mentioned, hydroxyethyl cellulose, and we're going to measure 1% of that um, HEC. So I am making a 50 gram batch, which means that I need only 0 0.5 uh, HEC in my formulation. So HEC, which is um, a thickener, it, is, it comes like a bit beige in color and it's a very light powder. So after I've added my HEC, I'm going to disperse it into uh, distilled water and I'm going to use 93.25% of it, which means that I'm only going to add um, 46.75% uh, of my uh, distilled water. Oopsie, squeezing too, um, too fast or too hard. Okay. Just need to wipe a bit here. Okay, looks like it's not closed well. So we're going for 46.75. I love this scale, it's so accurate and it's easy to use. Perfect, just on the dot. So what I then do is I mix it until I can't see any uh, powder. So I'm going to mix it for a bit so that we don't see any powder. You might be wondering, how do I end up getting a clear um, gel from this? Uh, I tell you, you are going to get a clear gel, right? It looks like it has um, dissolved completely. I don't see anything at the bottom. So I'm going to now have to raise the pH. So when it comes to hydroxyethyl cellulose, you need to raise the pH of the solution so that it thickens. And this thickens very quickly. So when you do add your um, buffer to thicken, please make sure you do it one drop at a time. So what is it that I've used to raise this solution? It's a concentration of 90% distilled water and 10% sodium hydroxide. That is what we're going to use to raise um, our pH so that it becomes a gel. So I've got the buffer already made. So I'm just going to add um, one, um, one gram, uh, sorry, one drop and see. Oopsie, I put quite a few drops there. Um, we'll see in terms of where it ends up. You can see it is uh, cleared up there. Very nice and uh, uh, clear liquid, right? It's still thickening up. So I'm going to change from this spoon to a smaller silicone 
so that you can actually see exactly uh, what's happening. There we go. There is our um, our uh, gel that has uh, thickened. Remember, it was water. Now you can see that nice feel gel. So why do I use HEC? It's easy to use, but also does not leave that tackiness and that uh, uh, stickiness in your, uh, on your skin. So that is why I prefer using the HEC. You can see there that uh, uh, that gel. So if you prefer a lighter uh, gel, what you can do is just reduce the percentage of HEC and increase um, the percentage of, of distilled water. So at this point, as I mentioned, we are not going to um, make, you can see that it's, uh, it's, it's even getting thicker. There you go, you can see. So before you decide to maybe say, oh no, it's too light or anything like that, just put it aside to fully hydrate. And once it has fully hydrated, you will understand the thickness in which your 1% um, concentration will give you. And if you're not happy with that, you can increase it um, as well, or you can decrease it as well. So I'm not going to add any other uh, products in here because I've shown you um, the uh, first method that I use. So now I'm going to show you the second way of using uh, HEC. And this uh, will take a little bit of a few steps. So the first one we had three, and this one I think we're going to have about four steps and four products that we're going to add. So start with um, your HEC, which is going to be uh, 0 0.5. As I explained, it's a cream to beige color. It's able to, uh, to disperse well or dissolve well in, uh, in water. Okay. Now we're going to add the water. So the first uh, thing that we do is the same as what we've done um, in the past uh, um, way of showing you how to make it, all right? There we go. I'm going to mix so that it dissolves completely. All right, I'm gonna leave it aside. So once you've mixed it, you will put it aside and you will take another beaker. And this is the second part of what we're going to do. So in this part, you're going to weigh your polysorbate uh, 20. So what is polysorbate 20? Polysorbate 20 is a solubilizer. It helps to disperse oil in water. So uh, when we use polysorbate, for instance, if we're going to add essential oils or maybe a preservative that is oil soluble and you want to disperse it in water, you would have to add a solubilizer instead of a uh, emulsifier because if you're going to use an emulsifier it will work but your solution is going to turn milky in this case we still want our base to be clear so we're going to uh, add polysorbate 20 and it's going to be five percent and in this case uh, i am going to only add 2.5 because we are making a 50 gram batch there is your polysorbate 20. There are other different polysorbate, 40, 20, 60, 80. So make sure that what we are using is polysorbate 20. So I'm adding uh, 0.5, uh, 2.5. So we've got our polysorbate in here and the last uh, ingredient that we're going to add is our Uxel PE9010. And um, here it is, uh, the uh, preservative that we're going to be using. So this does not really dissolve well in water. Uh, so I'm going to assist it by using the polysorbate, as I mentioned, that it is there to solubilize your oil. So in there, I am going to use um, one percent of the uh, uxel. As in this case, we're only adding zero point five grams. All 
and one drop. Okay, there we go. All right, so I've added my polysorbate in here and I am going to mix it. You can see there, it's mixing very well. So make sure that when you use your polysorbate, you understand what is the percentage that you need to use. So the usage rate of polysorbate is from 1% to 20%. So now we've got our HEC that we have dissolved in here. Okay, you so can still see a little bit of powder. It hasn't fully dissolved. Just mix it a little bit more. Okay, and once I've mixed this, I'm going to take the HEC and distilled water and mix it in the uh, beaker that had the um, polysorbate 20 and the uh, preservative. So you can still see here, we still have a water resolution. Okay, so now we're going to do the trick of having to um, thicken our HEC. As mentioned, you can leave this um, until tomorrow and you will find that it has thickened. So now I have added the uh, HEC and distilled water to the polysorbate 20 plus the Uxil, um PE9010. So this is what uh, the solution looks like. We are going to do exactly the same thing that we did in the previous uh, 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 way of using uh, HEC. So I'm going to raise the pH again by adding just one drop until it has thickened to the level that I'm looking for. So I'm adding just one drop next time. I'm gonna be careful. One has gone in. And then we start mixing. So don't be in a hurry and uh, say, oh no, it's not working, it's not working, because uh, uh, you feel like, oh, maybe my I didn't do the right thing, okay? Just gonna add a little bit of uh, another drop. Put in two. Okay, I'm gonna use this now. Okay, you can see it's starting to thicken. So I'm just going to continue uh, to mix. So you can see that we've got a clear liquid, clear gel. You can see it's starting to thicken. You can see it's starting to thicken. So don't be in a hurry. Just be patient uh, with the product. And don't try and add um, more a buffer just to try and get it thick it will thicken to a point where it is that one um, percent that we talked about remember this is one percent and in this one percent we also have five percent of polysorbate and also one percent of uh, the uh, preservative so you can see there really what the solution uh, looks like you can see it's a nice thick uh, serum. So this method I learned it recently and I felt that it is a nicer method because I can just do all the ingredients and then thicken it at the end. All right. So if let's say, for instance, you want to add an active ingredient in your uh, this product, because this is really a fully made product. It's just that it doesn't have any actives to have a benefit to it. So if let's say you want to add niacinamide, kojic acid, or any other active that you want, you will then reduce the percentage of distilled water, add your... Uh, active ingredient that you want, but you will only make it apart from the HEC and distilled water. Then you incorporate it and you have got a fully fledged product. Now let's compare the two products. This is the first one that we made and there is your gel. You can see it has thickened quite a lot. And this is due to the fact that I overdosed a bit on the uh, thickener. So you can see it's a very nice gel. You can make a gel mask with it. So beautiful and clear. Now let's go and look at the second method. And there is your second method. And I can guarantee you in a few hours, it would have thickened a little bit more. So 
Now that you've learned how to use uh, hydroxy acyl uh, cellulose, please go try it at home and make your own uh, serum. Let me know how it is when you're making your product. But also subscribe to the channel as I will be giving more formulations on the products that we are going to be making. So goodbye.